So Marvel Studios just announced their plans for Phase 4. It uh, looks exciting. Got Black Widow coming out May 1st, 2020. Eternals coming out November 6, 2020. You got Shang-Chi coming to theaters February 12, 2021. Doctor Strange, Mas Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Weird title, but pretty cool. May 7th, 2021. And Thor, Love and Thunder, November 5th, 2021. We also had an announcement that Blade will be coming to theaters hopefully soon. So, we also have some Disney Plus shows such as Hawkeye, Loki, WandaVision, Falcon Winter Soldier, and What If? Um, am I excited for it? Yes. For the theatrical portion, Internals looks interesting. Same with Shang-Chi. Shang Don't know who he is. Uh, we'll see about it. Uh, Doctor Strange 2, Thor 4, I believe. And Blade. They have Mayor Shala Ali playing Blade, not Wesley Snipes. Kind of disappointed, but kind of expected. Uh, the Disney Plus shows do interest me. Not a fan of Disney Plus. I didn't like them taking down all the Netflix and Marvel shows. Didn't like the way how that unfolded, but... Um, you know, I'm interested in Hawkeye, Falcon, Winter Soldier. I uh, don't know about what if or WandaVision. WandaVision, it's, it's a weird title. It is. It's a funny title. WandaVision. Sounds like a cartoon from like the 80s. What if... Maybe. It's like it's an Elseworld place. Uh, the only two projects they announced that I'm not really excited for is Black Widow and Loki. Here's why. Black Widow was killed off in Endgame. Loki was killed off in Infinity War. My biggest pet peeve when it comes to comic book, TV movies, TV shows, and movies is when a character gets killed off and they bring them back. One time is alright. I was fine with an end game. But the stuff has been... They've been doing this stuff for a long time. It's been overdone. And kind of boring. When a major character gets killed off. They need to show respect. One to the fans. The fans that supported them. They need to give back. And we follow them on their journey. Saw the enemies and villains that they fought against. And when they get killed off, we need to relive their memories and cherish their final moments. And if you keep coming back, you know, those moments, those memories, they fade away. We're not really invested in you as we were then. You also need to show respect to your universe you are a part of. Like, when you get killed off, you need to build up a new superhero. Same thing with the villain. You need to make the villain look strong. If you keep coming back to life, then no superheroes will be built up. The villain who killed you will look weak. You know, and the fans, well, you only have enough emotions going towards you. Alright, you played for emotions the first time, now you're back. You know, say you get killed off a second time, come back a third time. Let's have a Megatron the Transformers series. He got killed and he came out come back to life. The Arrow TV shows, so many characters die and they get brought back. Now, I know these two shows and movies are prequels, but the character the key is still coming back to life. Black Widow's coming back to life. Loki coming back to life and being played by the same people. I don't like characters coming back from the dead. Either if there are prequels, archival, archival footage, tributes, sequels, an alternate universe. Once they're dead, they need to stay dead until your series is rebooted. And no references are made about those characters. The MCU Phase 4 for the next couple years um, looks interesting. Should be more announcements soon.